dear students and working accountants welcome to my smart tally prime youtube channel my name is baburav from hyderabad today our topic is our discussion topic is about the ledgers so how to analyze the ledger how to see the ledger reports in a in the fundamental ways and advanced level how to set up the configuration in the ledger and how to see the transactions recorded in the ledger with different options okay and now let us know so in the manual account system in the manual accounting system when all the transactions that is all the information relating to persons relating to any assets or liability any assets and relating to incomes expenses everything relating to every aspect is recorded and placed at one place that is called account that is called account so for example x and co so all the in all the transactions the information related to x and co is placed at one place that is called one account that is x and co account okay in tally prime that account is called ledger the account is called ledger so first of all i will share the page so here so our first our thing is ledger analysis in tally prime how to take the ledger reports and ledger configuration and uh, settings and how to and there are some tricks how, ledger view tricks in tally prime this is what you are going to learn and now here in the ledger in the manual system of ledger the ledger is divided into two parts that is divided into half and half that is on the left side is called as debit and the right side is called as credit and all the transactions debit transactions i mean all the debit accounts are recorded on the left side on the debit side all the credit accounts are recorded on the i mean on the debit account sorry credit accounts are recorded on the debit side two means credit are recorded on the debit side all the debit accounts are recorded on the credit side of the cash account okay so this is credit side means the account the name is written there so this account is written here okay and this is divided into two parts okay and these two parts on the left side, left side that is all called actually giving aspects on the right side we record as the receiving aspects receiving aspects that is cash is coming the aspect sales is the giving aspect purchase receiving aspect the cash account is the actually account is a real account okay so the cash account we receive but in the left left side and the other debit side we receive two sales means we are giving aspect to record on the left side receiving aspect to record on the credit side the same thing here this is called like account in i mean uh, uh, manual accounts and in the ledger it is also it is called ledger i mean in the tally prime it is called ledger and we will go to the tally prime here we will discuss about this ledger so in this case in the previous video we discussed about the i mean the day book so the day book is a very important report which summarizes and which shows which shows all the entries recorded in different vouchers at one place it is called a book but here all the vouchers we record all the vouchers we record that we will take up now okay this is called and here in the manual accounting so that we will take up later see here in the manual accounting first of all we record in the journal then post in the ledger then we will do all other work that is this is a decreed i mean recording the preparing the trial balance profit and loss account trading i mean uh, balance sheet but in this tally prime and so tally also first we learned everything about creating company creating ledgers creating stock groups creating stock item then with the help of vouchers we record the transactions in the tally we record all the transactions in the tally with the help of vouchers and in in this tally we do only creating the ledgers and creating the stock groups that's all all other creating and recording the ledgers if you record the i mean uh, transactions in the what you call uh, in the vouchers so automatically they are they posted into the ledger 
So they are posted into ledger. How you can see the ledger? How can you see the ledger? And all the other work. So you're posting into the ledger, making trail balance, trading on profit and loss account, balance sheet, it will be automatically generated, automatically done by the tally pride. Okay. This is the about the manual accounting and this one, what you call uh, this one, tally prime. But in this case, all the transactions recorded through vouchers are automatically posted into the ledger. Now we have to see how to see the transactions are posted in the ledger, posted in the ledger. So now we have to go for the ledger. So in the ledger, the ledger in the gateway of tally, that is in the tally, the ledger can be found in ledger means the ledger of there are really many ledgers. Each transaction will have two ledgers, two accounts called as ledgers. So there are many transactions. There will be many ledgers, different ledgers. Okay. And now in the tally, that uh, <coughs> ledgers can be found at two places. So in this gateway of tally, so in the reports, I told you there will be many reports in this. One is daybook important. And it's here balance sheet, profit and loss account, stock summary, all this. In addition to this, many other reports necessary and required for the business. They are displayed in this display more reports. So go to the display more reports, then go to the accounts here, account books, display, means D, that is, I will tell you. Here, display for the short key is capital D. D is the short key for display more reports. Click that, then select account books. For account books, A is the short key, D, A. So okay, let's click the account books, then go to the summary ledgers. For the ledger, the short key is L. So D, and display all the report, display more reports, A, account books, L, ledger. So D, A, L, display all reports, and display more reports, and account books, then ledger. So if you click the ledger, we can see the list of all the ledgers, list of all the ledgers. For example, say here on the top, name of ledger, you can type the name of the ledger there, that will be selected. For example, CAS, we select, so cash is selected. So if you enter, it will open. Otherwise, with the mouse also, you can select. You can select and make, you can select and click enter or double click. So double click this, it will open or select that and click enter, it will open. Okay. And now in this case also, so here, this is, this displays one minute, I'll tell you. Uh, this is, uh, I will take up, for one day I will take up, 1st October, 1st October, okay. 1st October, 1st, 1st October, then 1st October. So here, so for one day, this is displaying the cash account. But here, we have to see the cash account for a period. For the period here, in the case of cash book, we selected Alt F2. Alt F2 is the key that is for selecting the period. But that is in the day book. But in the ledger, Alt F2 or simple FT, F2 also is used for period. Simple F2 also, see F2 if I click, so period is opening. So F2 or F2, Alt F2, both will work for this period. Suppose if you want to see, select one day. So in the day book, we type that day with the help of F2, we type that day. But here, we cannot type one single day. So F2 also is for the, for the, Period. So in this case, if you want to select one day from and to, both we have to give the same date. One ten, one ten. Then for one ten, the report for the one day will be you. And if you click this one, if you click, you can select one ten, one ten to thirty first August. Sorry, not one ten. I will take up one six to thirty first August. So this select this period. So it will display from 1st June to 31st August. When you are selecting this period, you have to check up whether the displayed report is exactly for that period. Because when you are selecting the period, sometimes you will commit, commit mistakes. So 1st June to 31st August. 1st June to 31st August. Similarly, like uh, in the day book, so if you 
select the day period, if you remove the dates, it will display from April 1st till the last entry date. Okay. So here, with the help of escape key or with the help of space bar, we can remove the dates. Now it will see from 1st May to 31st October. 1st May to 31st October. But I will make one entry. That is on 1st April, I will make one entry so that cash balance will not be Cash balance will be okay. Uh, I will get first, first April. I will take up first April. Sorry, it's not available here. Okay, now the cash bit will be, it will show you all debit, our debit balance. Well, otherwise, it will be going on showing uh, what you call uh, ledger, cash, and select the total period. See here, it will show the balance only. Here, you see the total period. So like this, you can collect the social period. And uh, we can see in two places. This is one place, that is in the gateway of tally, so display more reports, display more reports, then account books, then ledger, D-A-L. So we are getting the list of ledgers. In another place, there are only two places. For day book, it is three places. Here, only two places. One is in the gateway of tally. Other one is go to function. You go to function under the common, repo, common reports. After the day book, there are ledger vouchers. So double click or select and enter. Select and enter or Double click also. Select and enter here. Double click. I selected and enter I got now. Again, you double click. Then also you will get the name of them in all the list of ledgers. So if you select like this, this is okay. We are selected and select one account. So that is selected and press F2, remove the dates. You will get the total report from the beginning of the year till the last day, entry of last date. That is date of last entry. Okay, now, so here, now we selected. Now, display more reports, I told you, D-A-L, and second one is go to. So here, you see, you select the cash book. In this cash book, you see, how we show. This is cash book in the cash ledger. This is also cash book also. It's called cash book in NAM in what you call, uh, in this one, so it is called cash book also. Cash account is also called cash book, I'll show you that. So here, in the ledger, cash ledger, on the left side, the name of the ledger is displayed. Ledger cash, name of the ledger is displayed. On the right side, the period of display, that is the period of the report, 1st April to 31st October. If it is for one day, so they will display only few transactions for that particular day. It will show for so-and-so date, that is for one day. For the period, it will display the total period. Okay, and on the side, this side dates, different dates, and all the particulars of the entries, I mean, accounts, and the type of voucher. The type of voucher, voucher type is receipt, payment, sales, purchases, contra, anything. And, and, and the extra thing, this is extra column, and voucher numbers, it will display the voucher numbers. These voucher numbers will be the, the serial number of, serial of the different, the particular voucher. So receipt one, receipt two. This is payment, payment one, two, three, four, five. Then sales, sales, this is sales number three. There is one sales also here. Sales is three. And then contra is one. Payment is here, five. Again, six, seven, eight. This is six, seven, eight, uh, nine, 10, 11. Then 12, 13, 14, 15, like this. So that is the serial number of that particular voucher. Okay, and now this is all debit. Cash means received cash will be on the debit side. All the cash received on the debit side, on the cash paid, on the credit side. And then at the bottom, it will show opening balance. Opening balance means balance at the beginning of the period. So what is the beginning of the period? It is 1st April. If you take some other period, suppose 1st May to some date. So 1st May will be the beginning of the period. Beginning of the period, not year. So the beginning of the period, that is our 1st April, the balance will be shown. And the total of all the debit items will be shown on 
Currently total and the total of all the credit items will, amounts will be shown on the credit side and the opening balance plus debit side total minus opening balance, the difference between this one and the uh, total of the credit items, total the difference will be shown below that closing balance. Closing balance means here the end of the period. So the, what is the end of the period is 31st. So 31st October is the end of the period. On 31st, this is the closing balance. Here there is no opening balance here. So opening balance is nil. All the total of debits, total of credits, difference is shown. Okay. So this is what, how the ledger, any ledger, any ledger if you go, suppose if I go to Mohit Enterprises, that also. So on the uh, double left hand side, it will show the name of the ledger. <coughs> on the right hand side, it will show the, <coughs> it will show the period. Now I am taking total period. I am taking total period, you see. So 1st April to 31st October. Name and the period. And here, there is no opening balance here also, 1st April. So debit total, one amount only. Credit total, one amount only. Difference is shown as the balance. Understand? So like this, every account will be shown. And one more thing. Now, the ledger account, how the ledger account, this is the ledger, isn't it? This is the ledger account. I will take up. Total wealth. So this is the cash account. This is the cash account means cash ledger. This is called ledger. Also cash account. In this case, see here, this is in the tally credit. But in the manual accounting, we can prepare a ledger divided into, I told you now, divided into two parts, left and right. You see, see here. Here, see, see, this is the cash account. This is divided into two parts. On the left hand side, it is debit. Right hand side, in this, it is credit, isn't it? But here, in our accounting, in our what you call, in our tally prime, see, in our tally prime, see, here, there is no, it's not divided into two parts. But here, in this case, you see this, the date before this, there will be date on both the sides. Date column. Then particulars column, then there will be ledger, I mean, uh, journal folio, instead of that, is a voucher number will go. And all these columns are there, but both the sides, the columns, except the amounts, the columns are same. Amounts will be different. This is debit amount, this is credit amount. Amounts are debited, debit and credit amounts, but the other columns are same. That is all, both the columns are combined here. First date is given, both debit, this one, this side. Both the dates are given, particulars of this side and this side, as per the dates. Portals are given and extra column. This is voucher type and voucher number is given here instead of general folio. Voucher number is given and then these debit amounts are shown on the debit side, credit amounts are shown on the credit side. And here we are totaling both the sides and showing same amount. We are writing as carried down and brought down. Here it will not show. This individually they will, I mean, total the debit amounts, they will total the credit amounts and the balance they will take and the balance brought down we won't write. Simply it is say. It is carried down, brought down in the manual accounting. Here, simply closing balance. So balance will be shown here. This is the way of showing the ledger account in the leg, in the, I mean, uh, tally. Okay, now, right hand side, right hand side, IPA. okay. Now, we can see here, if you want to see the name and everything we understood opening balance, closing balance, and if debit balance, if debit is more, it will show closing balance on the debit side, credit is more, it will show the balance on the credit side. Okay, yeah. And now, when you are selecting any period, when you are selecting any period, that period will be within this kind of financial year. This financial year, is, I will show you the financial year. You can see in the gateway of tally, current period. Current period, 1st April to 22 to 31st March. That is the present financial year. So when you select, when you select the period, when you select the, see, when you select the period, this period will be within this, what you call, within this financial year, that is, this financial year is 1st April 22 to 31st March 23. So our period will be in this only. So see now, if you select, so 
you have to take JUN for Jan, June. So first June. For July, you have to take JU. Note down this. For July, you have to take JU. So for April, simply A. For August, AU. For January, simply J. June, JUN. For July, JU. Okay. And then March and May. For March, simple March. M is enough. So first March. If you give the date, sorry. If you give the date, simply if you take Ma, M, March, it will take 1st March. If you give, suppose, 2M, if you take 2M, it will take 2nd March. Suppose, if you take 31M, 31M, it will take 31st March. Simply, sorry, simply M, it will take 1st March. For anything, simply you give the letter, it will get 1st date of the month. And if you give some date, it will start from that. Okay, seasons for March. For May, you have to type fully. M A Y. If you take M A also, it will take March. So M A Y. Then only it will take. So for March, January, J, June, J U, N, July, J U. For April, I mean March, M. For May, M A Y. Then after that, April. I told you A. April A. It will take April first. And if you take for August, you have to take. AU. So remember all this, then you can simply you can, you can need not uh, full type the full date. Okay. So this is about the current financial year and about the world financial year. We have to give the dates from April to March, including the year also. Otherwise, it will take the current year only. Okay. This is the thing. And the thing, next advanced part. How to make the configurations? Now we are okay manipulating the data. How to view the data? in different situations and in a different ways. In different ways, how to view the data. Now, how to configure the, just like Debo, we made the many configurations. Here also, how to configure, how to configure the ledger. So, exactly, most of the configurations in ledger also will be the same, will be the same as Debo. Will be the same as Debo. Will be the same as Debo. How to view this? We will take up. First of all, how to configure and we have to see the see reports. See the reports. First of all, if you, this is one ledger we selected, we selected one ledger. We will go to configuration. For configuration, so in this, as we will take first of all, we will take a configuration. In the configuration, we will see F12. For configuration F12, if you want to see the narration for this, so just you take yes for this, and if you take detailed, and you select yes for all this, yes, then if you select control A, so this all the details they come, all the details here only, narration, in the case of sales, other details also, that is stock items, rate, number, quantity, everything is there. So like this, we will get all the configuration, and here, in this case, in the configuration window F12, there is one additional column. There is one additional option is there, but this is not available in table. This is one additional option that is show running balance. Show running balance means one, one minute, hey, one minute. Here in this configuration page window, there is one additional option is there. That is, additional option is show running balance. What is meant by running balance? Running balance means balance after every transaction. Suppose there is 5,000 balance. So next transaction is again 5,000 on the same date. So the balance will be 10,000. Next day, next transaction will be on the other side 2,000. So then the balance will be 8,000. That is, the balance will be shown after every transaction, just like in the bank passbook, it will show the balance after every transaction. The same thing here. It will show debit and credit, and there will be an extra column, balance. That closing balance will be there. That balance will be the balance after every transaction. So here, you see, here, it is showing only the debit and credit. And balance is shown only at the end of the period. Only at the end of the period. From the beginning to the end, it may be a month or one week or 
one two months or one year at the end of the period only the balance is shown but here if you want to see the balance after every transaction then in the f12 configuration go to the last option make it yes so see now here now you see debit credit everything is shown but extra column balance so there is no opening balance here there is no opening balance in this there is no opening balance and here see opening balance it is showing on a, up outside see opening balance there is no opening balance here just like bank there is no opening balance in the previous case the ledger the opening balance is shown in that the bottom opening balance debit total current current to total on the debit side credit total and balance but here in the bill i mean uh, what you call uh, i mean balance at, at the end of every transaction that is running balance the overall balance will be shown on the top it is not showing any balance 2 lakhs is the first transaction balance will be 2 lakhs debit again 50000 debit so 2 lakh 50000 5000 credit so 245 will be the balance 22 223 will balance again 20 on the credit side 203 again 2 on the credit side 201 again 1 2 lakh so this is and here 25 on the debit side so it is debit balance now. so 25 means 225 again minus 2 223 like this it will go on showing the balance after every transaction and at the end of the period at the end of the period so what is the balance at the end of the period is in the running balance that will be the closing balance here it will be shown here here also that will be the closing balance this is one option for configuration this is the option for configuration default detail and is one and one if you want to another one more thing here in this case so here we will, we will delete this we will delete this we will make it no okay so we are taking this one in this case if you want to change the see here there are many many ledgers are there i mean in the ledger there are many transactions are there there are many transactions there are many transactions if you want to select only one type of series payment receipt payment everything suppose if you want to take only payments so select here on the credit side f4 ledger here is a cash cash no 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 ledger list no this is the ledger only not here uh, that you will take up next one first you will take up see here monthly monthly that is ledger we can select because this one monthly balance that is see here monthly balance means this is showing the first of all the balance is shown at the end of the period only next running balance we have viewed running balance means at the end of every transaction next monthly tra monthly means it will show the balance every month see it is starting from april from april at the end of april what is the balance for the month of april what is debit what is credit total and then may for the month of may what is debit total and what is debit? only summary it will show so if you take uh, click this f6 monthly you see here so it is showing the summary it is showing the summary so for the month of april debit and balance for the month of may what is debit and what is credit what is the amount of debit and credit amount and the balance and the end of june like this it will show balance at the end of every month and showing the summary of uh, debit amount total debit total summary and the credit total it will show and the balance it will show this is only summary of the account showing only the debit totals and credit totals and balance this is called monthly summary this is called monthly summary and similarly in this case if you want to see columns if you want to see columns previously the same f8 if you click that so what are the columns you require so first of all party name yes address voucher type and then then reference number is bill numbers yes you take we'll select some only then show pawn yes and quantity details so only you are selecting only few so if you select few only those columns will be shown see here date particulars address is not given voucher type debit identity payment receipt etc and here voucher number here we are taken only here there is voucher number pawn number nothing is there quantity how many what is the stock item quantity then gross total amount capital account first to have one the details of the account cash account capital account cash account rent account sales account purchase account then go to the right left 
purchase account and then after purchase account state bank company all the accounts accounts used in this see actually here these are the in, in the day book also we noticed they are showing in every case only what our account is showing only one account is showing there will be another account the other account will be shown here for example cash cash account is debited and the other account is capital so here cash is the debit amount cash account and other account is capital here rahul radios rahul radios who received money who received money this is received means rahul radios received money means from rahul radios who received it is credit and cash is debit so don't bother about debit and credit the other account rahul radios is one account and received means cash cash is another account on cash cash here payment payment means cash is one account why you paid you paid to someone rent see so you paid to rent towards rent so rent is the other account like this it will show all the details of the column in the columns it will show the what you call it will show all the second account in the columns in the columns first of all this is cash account and one account is shown here and the other account in the transaction it will be shown in the columns okay this is about the column nakasham and then if you take sorry if you take and uh, then one extract if you take see so extract you know in the previously extract so extract report means what are the accounts used so we will take the details here extract means some other vouchers required vouchers so here change view in the change view see here show more sir in the show more what are the reports here what are the slips the cancelled vouchers slips and all these things will be shown that is called in the change view in the change view you will get okay that's all and the change view you will get the reports and these are the main options and some more options we got some more options we got see in this case if you want to delete i told you you can delete any voucher except sales voucher except sales voucher you can delete so sales voucher you should not delete you can only cancel you can only cancel so all other vouchers you can delete suppose here if you want to delete see rahul electronics payment 12000 you want to delete so what you will do alt d so alt d delete yes see rahul enterprises the amount is the payment is cancelled so it will be cancelled say here in the case of any other one you can cancel also so we deleted here so it is gone but in this case even if we cancel it will be gone it will not show here in the sales it is showing as cancel but here it is not show here here one payment rent this we will cancel cancellation is alt x if you put alt x cancel yes so that is also gone so cancel or alt delete in both the cases the transaction that is the, the item will be disappearing in the case of any voucher but in the case of sales if it is cancelled it will show cancelled why because if it is not cancelled deleted the next numbers all numbers will come forward that there will be a confusion that is why we have to cancel only in the case of sales we should not delete but in the case of all other vouchers you can cancel or you can delete also see here if you delete the transaction is completely gone the transaction is completely gone but if you delete i mean cancel it is not shown here like sales but it will be shown in the table even if you cancel here it will be shown on the table see here if you go to d debo see here so we cancel here see here what is cancelled on that so so that anybody see this is not this is sales we cancel and then next cancellation is see this is not sales this is payment so this is also showing and here this is also payment this is also showing so in the debo if you cancel anywhere the cancellation will be shown here it will not be shown in the ledger but deletion it will go off completely it will the transaction i mean the item itself will be completely deleted it will not be shown i mean it will not be shown but 
cancellation also will not be shown in the ledger, but it will be shown in the table. Okay, so we take the AL ledger. Okay, cash. So here like this. And here, there is one more peculiar thing. One more peculiar thing. Options like debook and all these things. And here, options like debook. And in this case, if you are deleting now, so for deleting a cancellation, we are selecting a transaction and we are deleting. But same like as uh, what you call in the debook, here also, if you want to select more than one transaction, one transaction, just select that. Then what you will do? Select that and Alt A. Sorry, not Alt A. Select that. Select that and you press space bar. Select this and space bar. Again, one more. Select space bar. Again, one more. Select space bar. And one more. Select space bar. Like this, you can select any number of vouchers individually with the help of space bar. Select it with the mouse. And our mouse are this, what you call the up and down arrows. With the help of arrows, you can select and space, click the space bar. And similarly, if you want to deselect any one of these, again select that, again press the space bar, then it will be deselected. Suppose if you want to deselect all these, just control, just to you click escape bar, all will be deselected. So selecting with the help of space bar, each one individually, and deselecting also with the help of space bar, each one individually, or escape will be deselected, we will still deselect all the vouchers. And here also, if you want to select all the vouchers, so what you are doing, space, if you want to select, I mean, uh, select one, you are selecting space bar, selecting one. If you want to select all the vouchers, if you want to select all the vouchers, if you want to select all the vouchers, here, control, is that control space bar. See here, you, are you want to select all the vouchers. So here, if you want to select, if, and if you want to deselect any one, so that select that, that's all. And if you want to select this, you can just all. If you want to deselect all, then escape, it will be deselected. So selecting one individually, space bar, deselecting also one, one space bar. If you want to select all, uh, then not single space bar, control space bar, Deselect all, escape. That's all. And I, if you selected all the vouchers, if you want to select any one or two individually, that you can select and enter the space bar. With the help of space bar, select or deselect. All the entries will be control space bar and escape, deselect all the entries. So this is how selecting and win. And one shortcut is there. One shortcut is there that is not shown in the day book. That, that also it will work there also. There also it will work. But it's not shown there. Now we will look out to look here. That is, see in this case, we're not deleting any transaction, not deleting any transaction, not canceling any transaction. Just it will not show here. It will be, we will hide that. We will hide that. So it will be there in the database. Everything it will be there. Again, it will show up. It will, without showing, it will hide. So how to hide the any transaction again bring, bring it back means de hiding that is bringing back Serena. so unhide hide or unhide suppose if you want to hide this if you want to hide this transaction just what you will do see control r control r so it is hide so it is gone but it is there it is not deleted it is there again you want to hide this again control r and first one you want to hide this control R. So for hiding control R. For hiding control R. And you want to bring it back. So that is de-hiding. That is unhiding. You have to unhide. How unhide? So now control R is for hiding. For unhiding control U. U means unhide. Control U if you click. So the last one so it will go from backward. The last one hide it. That will open. Again, the previous one, again the previous one, two, three. First one hide it, hiding, second one, third one. If you unhide, third one will open first, 
then second one, then first one. So well. So one is there. Again, we will unhead one more. So it has come back. Again, unhead. So others have come. So all these have come back. So hiding each and individually. Control, I mean, uh, control R, but unhide, control U. Control R, I'll control U. Okay. In this case, select the vouchers and select the ledger. And now, here, for example, in this case, understood now, selecting another. Suppose, you put now, so this is, you control R, we're hiding. We are hiding this, and this also we are hiding, and this also we are hiding, and this also we are hiding. So we are hiding, many people are hide, hidden. So many transactions are hidden. Now, if you want to bring it back, if you click Alt, Control H, Control U, one by one, one by one, will come back. One by one, will come back, will be unhidden. Okay, unhidden. Now, if you want to bring back all the transactions which are hidden, at a time, in such case, in such case, in, in such case, what you do is, so instead of that, simply control, simply control U for unhiding. If you click Alt U, all will come back. So control R for hiding, control U for bringing back, unhiding. But if you hide, if you hide more for bringing back all at a time, simply Alt U, instead of control U, you check up Alt U, then all the hided or hidden transactions will be unhidden. They will come back. Understand this? And this is the thing. And here, in this case, when are, we are working the, in the cash ledger, we are working in the cash ledger. And now, or we can take uh, sales ledger. We will take sales ledger, for example. There are three. In the sales ledger, in the sales ledger, oh, no, don't take, no, we'll take cash only because cash will be good. So we'll take cash. So there are all the transactions. And now one person, for example, Rahul Enterprises, not that are received, uh, Mohini. So Mohini Enterprises has come. Mohini, Ranga Enterprises, sorry, payment received. So here, See here, if you see, you can see Mohini Enterprises, you can see Sunday data. Sunday data means we will get the money. Okay. Now, Mohini Enterprises approached us. Approached us. So, there will be many transactions. This is cash transaction. Whenever they paid, we are showing this. This is the transaction. That is cash received. But account will be different. So, what is the balance? What is the balance? In such case, we have to go to the we have to go to the account. So he, he approaches that Mohini Enterprises person approaches and he will say, I will pay some amount, total amount or some amount, I will pay the amount, you give me receipt. But here, what we have to do? Now we have to close all this and then go to ledger. And I'll, instead of closing all this, we're doing all this, simply with the help of go to, we can go to his account, we can see the balance. And we can make the receipt. We will we can make the entry for receipt of money. And we can print the receipt, give him, and come back again to the cash account. Because here we are working. We won't close it. So we will go to the, we will go to the function here. See here, ledger vouchers. Ledger vouchers, if you select, see here. So which account you want? Mohit, Mohit Enterprises. So Mohit Enterprises. If you select Mohit Enterprises, here. So from the beginning, if you take, so these are the only two transactions are there. Sales, we, we sold for 70,000. This will take up 25,000, for example. For example, it is 20,000. For example, previously you paid 20,000. Okay, paid 20,000. Now, see here, 70,000 is the sales. And he paid 20,000 already. Still, he has 50,000 balance. So now you say, I will pay the 50,000 or I will pay 30,000, whatever it may be. So here, he may pay some amount. He may pay some amount. In this case, what you have to do? We have to make the entry. We have to make the entry means what you call 
voucher entry that is accounting voucher creation accounting voucher creation isn't it now we have to create the voucher what have to create we have to create receipt voucher but here how we will go to the account voucher from here you have to previously if in the gateway of tally if you click v we will go to voucher but here we are here in the party account from here how we will go here simply what you do is alt a alt a if you click you will get the receipt voucher see here see here from here we have to go to the voucher creation whether payment voucher or receipt voucher what will it be we have to go to pay voucher we have to go so from here how we will go to voucher simply alt a if you click you will go to voucher this is accounting voucher creation and we have to take the date so let it be so for example it is uh, 2nd august only okay it will take it will be 2nd august only and the voucher which one should you require now we require receipt voucher only it is in receipt otherwise if it is in payment voucher we have to go to receipt voucher so receipt voucher 2nd august and then now credit who is giving us mohit enterprises so mohit enterprises suppose they are paying 30000 30000 against 50000 they are paying 30000 and then to cash so cash received on account that's all cash received on account okay now see in this 30000 so we came back to his account after entry came back to his account generally if you make a voucher so that will be entered after accepting the voucher the cursor and the window will be the same voucher will be the window it will not go anywhere so we came back to mohit enterprises now we have to give him voucher i mean we have to give him receipt so this is the transaction we enter now so if you want to give the receipt go to print then go to print and then r that is for preview or configuration r simply instead of alt p you type control p directly you into the print page so now you can preview that so go to zoom alt z r click this see here receipt voucher and account name against reference 30,000 everything is there this if you give now enter if you press enter it will print and you will give him receipt after that again we will go back to now here it is gone now again click escape yes escape if you click so here we came to second again as slave so we came to see we came to the cash first we are doing here we are doing the work here so after completing all this came back to again the same account it is not closed it is there so completing all our work we can if you press escape and escape we come to the original work again now we can do this work there like this we can see the work so from here go to some other go to go to option use and you can go to some other place whatever work you want to do and again come back to here this is go to function in the previously in the fundamentals this go to function we dealt with one day go to function but this is okay but in the there are something wrong in the what you call in the uh, swift to function the switch to in the switch to function there was one wrong that is not come but actually what i did is we have not done the here from here we went to the some other page we have done the work there and i pressed the escape we came here back escape but in that case from if you switch to if you switch to going to other place and if you don't do any work if you just press escape again came back to the same window but after going to other place we have to do some work there after doing some work if you press escape you will go back to gateway of tally you will not come back to the original work because the original work will be closed after going that after working there you will go to gateway of tally if you don't do any work just simply go there and come back again you will come back to escape your pressing come back to the original work that i will show later in the next video i will show the about the see now go to you understood well now in the next video i will show you that also that is swift to swift to or switch to switch to or swift to both are same so switch to we will select okay so now this is the original entry understand regarding the ledger configuration tricks and everything and in the day book and in the ledger so with this we close this and then with this we close this session
and in the next videos the next things now we have done everything recorded viewed through the day book we read all the transactions now we went to the ledgers and particular ledger any ledger going to the list of ledgers and whatever ledger you want to see we are going to that ledger those transaction the ledger how to configure how to see these information in a different way whatever way you want we can make configurations and we can see the reports these are all called the tricks and next one is after this then this is ledgers we completed viewing the ledgers all the transaction at one place day book viewing about the ledgers now and about the stock or item stock items stock summary stock that is in the next voucher next uh, video we will take up about the stock and after that after stock we will go to the final reports we will do some problems also okay so please i am asking again subscribe to the channel some many people are not subscribe just viewing and going subscribe to the channel click the bell icon and select all you will get the notification for all my videos and in this case and share the channel to your friends also and in this case every video you watch till the end if you skip in the middle you will not understand the balance work so show watch the video till the end and you make click like that is you like the video and post your comment also about the video that's why i that is the comment is the communication between you and me okay so i will, i think you will follow my videos in the same sequence you will get expert knowledge and you will become an expert accountant you will become an expert accountant i wish you all become expert accountants okay so wish you all the best thank you good night